1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 29. But this I say, brethren, the time is short, that both they that have wives be as though they had none. Barakat da Yahweh, barakat da Yahweh Shai, barakat da Yahweh, barakat da Yahweh Shai, barakat da Yahweh, barakat da Yahweh Shai. Call halal la Yahweh b'ashim Yahweh Shai. That's Hebrew. Interpret bless Yahweh, bless Yahweh Shai. All praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching His word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, the title of this lesson is going to be The Time is Short. The Time is Short. All right, this is going to be a quick lesson, mainly a few precept, precepts, all right? And uh, Lord willing, you'll be edified. And uh, as I read in 1 Corinthians 7 and 29, you know, I just really want to focus on a point where Paul said the time is short, not too much on that woman, all right? But, you know, I'm going to read again. It says 1 Corinthians 7 and 29. But this I say, brethren, the time is short. It remaineth that both they that have wives be as though they had none. And why is Paul saying that? Because the the south uh, uh, the kingdom is at hand. The kingdom is at hand. All right. Really, um, what we should be putting our focus into and in our time. Is in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. The, the scriptures say in Baruch, Baruch the fourth chapter, it was our minds to go astray, seek the Lord ten times more. You know, there's so much to learn, you know, to get back of things we once knew. And we're not going to have, you know, everything, of course, but we can know 100% of the, of the scriptures, of the Bible, and the Lord's word. You know, obviously we're not living in our land. Obviously we're not uh, living under the law strictly, all right? Because Yahweh Shai did come down, okay, and gave his body as a living sacrifice, all right? But we do rehearse the law because the law governs our flesh. And also in Baruch, the fourth chapter, the Lord said mm -hmm. the law abideth forever, all right? So that means that the law is in effect. You will be judged for transgression the Lord laws straight up all right because sin is transgression of the of the law all right but anyway the scriptures say but Paul he says the, but the time it says but I say brethren the time is short the time is short and where where you know in 2019 so called but you see the prophecies at work as the scriptures say in 2nd Edges 9, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest parts of the signs pass, then ye shall know that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world in which he may. And we see the Lord's prophecies being fulfilled. So we know that the Lord is visiting this place, this earth in which he may, not Esau. Okay, we see Esau fighting against the Lord coming back. We see Esau uh, modifying, you know, and uh, modifying um, the ways of the ways of the Lord. Well, excuse me, this uh, modifying the natural things of this place. All right. And this is why it's even more important why the Lord has to come and deliver us, man. So the time is short, man. The time is short. All right. Let me read one more time. It says, brethren, I say, excuse me. But this I say, brethren, the time is short. You know, also the scriptures say, uh, I believe that's Sirach, the fifth chapter. He says, make not tearing to turn to the Lord. You're not supposed to make tearing to turn to the Lord. If the Lord call you, you better walk in this. You better walk ye in the truth. You better, you better. <laughs> there, there's no second guessing, you know. You know, it's a, it's a, a beautiful thing to be called. Because that means the Lord is talking about you in the heavens, man, in a good way. All right. Now it boils down to if you are the uh, the one that endure the elect, because that's even better. That means that you, hey, that means that you're gonna be on a chariot, man. You got a ticket to get up out of here. All right, to be delivered, man. But if the Lord called, that's your chance to get things right. That's your chance 
all right, to give diligence to make your calling and election short. So it says, but this I say, brethren, the time is short. It says, it remaineth that both they that had wives be as though they had none, all right? Because um, when you having a woman, all right, in this time, being that we have to seek the Lord 10 times more, you know, Paul even gets into it. He says, you know, those that are married seek to please their uh, seek to please their their woman, but those that are unmarried seek to please the Most High more. So, if you are entangled with a woman, all right, in this time, you're gonna seek the Lord. So it be as though you had no wife. You know, you, you know, we're not in that time where the Lord said to go marry and be fruitful. He ain't telling us to be fruitful. Now he's telling us to gird up our loins, man. What's fucking doing? He's telling us to gird up our loins and build us into the day of the battle, man. You know? And, um... And, um... Excuse me, I was gonna say, uh... Lose my train of thought here. This guy fucking... Dude, what the fuck are you doing, man? You know, but um, anyway, you know, you uh, you have a woman, you know, you're not going to be able to spend that time for it. Just like the Lord told Jeremiah, man, you know, he told Jeremiah not to uh, go out and uh, seek children in this place to be married and get wives and be fruitful. You know, why did he tell him that? Because the Lord had a great controversy for his people. He had captivity coming. All right. He had captivity coming. You know, the Lord was disgusted with Israel. All right. Mm -hmm. So why would Jeremiah go out here and have a family? We're in that same time, man. We're in that time again. Okay. That applies to this time. That applies to this time. Okay. It says they both uh, that that both they that had wives be as though they had none. All right. So now let me move on. And uh, go to Romans 13 and 11. All right. Like I said before, this is a quick precept. Precepts. Uh, it says Romans 13, 11. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. All right. So we read. I mean, while I quoted 2nd Edges 9, it says measure thou the time diligently, diligently. In itself so you're supposed to be concerned of the time in which you're living in according to the clock of the Bible according to the words of the scriptures the prophecies of the Bible I should say all right so Paul said and that knowing the time so these are the ones that know this time and know what's going on know that the Lord is going to return knowing that the time is short all right that's why we say when we speak this word we speak to who the whole the whole four elect Scriptures say, he that heareth us, knoweth the most high. Okay? He that heareth us, heareth the most high, man. All right? It says, and that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. And you damn right it's high time to wake up out of sleep. There's so much wickedness going on in this world that if you've not woken into this, to the knowledge of the Lord, the riches, and having a glorious gospel, you know, and striving for righteousness at this time Then you just wicked as all hell And you deserve destruction Straight up This world is so wicked How can you not strive for righteousness In Yahweh Bashem was shot today Alright It's so wicked that You know it's, it's, it's a must that you strive for righteousness Unless you just wicked You know There's no gray areas There's no in between Either you for the most high Or you for the world you for your how about Shemi Awashai or you for the world. And your deeds and your actions is going to prove that. All right. It says, and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake up out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Now, Paul wrote this, uh, you know, long time ago. And here we are in 2019. And guess what? Salvation is nearer than when we believe, man. You know, that's how you know that this, this the word of the Lord is prophetic. You know, how the Lord is powerful, almighty. 
he had brothers write words down that apply, you know, generations later, man. You know, that's beautiful. That's how most of the time when the Lord, you know, would judge Israel, he would he would uh, send his prophets out to speak. And then the Lord would come with the, the, the destruction, you know, in the, in the future, in the near future, man. Whether it be a couple of generations down, the, hey, the Lord said his word uh, uh, doesn't come back to him void, man. It accomplished that, uh, uh, it accomplished in which he said, man, roughly paraphrasing that. Because that's the scripture, all right? The word of the Lord is like a hitman. You know, he sends the order out and it gets done. You know, it tells you in um, Sirach, what's that, 39? How the angels appeases the wrath of them that made him. You know, they, they, uh, they, uh, they, uh, 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 so I can, let me, let me see something. Let's get that real quick. Alright, this is Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, 39 and 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of, them, of him that made them. Fire and hell and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction all right so i just wanted to get that right so let me hop back real quick romans 13 and 12 it says the night is far spent the day is at hand let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the arm of light you know if you the time is short you know you know someone that was i was discussing a couple of days ago and he was asking me questions about how long do you think America has and to give my humble opinion you know I said for the most five years maybe you know I said any day now because you know knowing the prophecies we know that any day now you know this place which you call America which is known as Babylon the Great you know it can be in a frenzy all they need is the right the right uh, uh, tragedy you know a right terror attack or whatever the case is man something that's gonna be big enough so that they can put boots on the ground you know they can regulate and turn this into a real police state you know make it hard to live outside you know out out out, out in the um in the world you know when they start to force that rfid microchip that's when you know it's all over there's no uh rebirth of, of this place there is no making america great again the scriptures say take ball from her pain you know if she can be healed and she can't this place america cannot be healed it's done the most high already judged this place before it even began that's the power of the most high you know and and, and a lot of you are not spiritual to understand that you know or the lord is just not opening your eyes to receive that but his elect is that's why the elect is very precious and it's a it's a must that we carry ourselves with the highest standard of moral values and principles of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, the way you manage yourself. You know, that was a lesson I did yesterday, but that just came in mind. So anyway, it says the night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the arm of light. That means, you know, uh, stop, stop sinning. We're not in a time for you to be indulging in, 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 in your uh, sinful pleasures. You know, you can have pleasure, but you don't have to sin. You know, it's now time to uh, refrain from your iniquities, man. And that uh, leads me to another quick precept. And the scripture's coming now. Uh, let's go to, I wanted to make this quick. It is what it is. Second Edris 16. All right, I'm going to go to the very end because 
It says, um, let's see. Okay. All right, I'll start. Uh, I'm just trying to, all right, 2nd Edges 16, 73. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. All right, and that's talking about the elect, because the world is going to know, and even the men, you know, who the elect is, starting with the men, okay, starting with the men, they're going to know for sure that they are the elect. All right, the Lord said, then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. Because when this, um, when these Edomites come down having great wrath, all right, upon those that believe in the Lord, hey, you being took into a camp, you being um, seized, handcuffed, you know, took and kidnapped out of your crib, you know, all because you just teach the Bible, oh, you of the chosen, they're afraid. You know of what of what the Lord may allow you to do unto them, you know, so they want to lock you up and stop teaching this truth. This truth, what you people don't realize, you know, is is very powerful. It's 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 the power of the Most High. It's His Word. You know, He shaped kingdoms, man. Anyway, verse seventy four. Hear, O ye my beloved, say of the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand. You see, so that goes even you know with the topic. Uh, the time is short. Because troubles are at hand. We're approaching Jacob's trouble. All right. There's going to be plagues and peasants coming. Plagues. All right. When the Most High send diseases, even airborne diseases, stuff, diseases where you least expect, and people are going to be dropping dead, man. That's next. All right. It says, um, Hear, O ye my beloved, say of the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your guide. All right, so, you know, the men of the Lord, the Lord doesn't give his, uh, give us the spirit of fear. So the men are not going to be afraid, all right, because why? They put their faith and trust in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, all right? And the Lord said, be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for Yahweh is your guide, all right? Verse 76, and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, say if the Lord Yahweh let not your sins weigh you down and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. All right. You see, because we're in that time where you don't want your sins, you know, to lift up right now. It's, it's like shedding. You're shedding off the iniquity. You're shedding off of the sin. You're getting less and less and less of of the bullshit. That's why our lives are blown. Us. That's why our lives are supposed to be plain, you know. If you want to say boring, well, so be. You know, it's supposed to be simple. A simple life. That's it. You know, Paul said in Romans 12, give thy body as a living sacrifice. That means that your life ain't going to be as uh, exciting as it was when, when you was in the world. Taking trips and vacationing. You know, you know, uh, uh, bagging all the chicks and shit. You know, having fun. You know. Nah, it's going to be plain and simple, man. You know, a woman to tell you, you know, you're a robot, you know, you're, you're, you're boring. Well, so be. That's where it's supposed to be. Because we want to do what? Less sin, man. We sin, but not willingly. You know, and we and we ask every day for uh, forgiveness to the Lord. <laughs> you know, so anyway, let not your sins weigh you down and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. Woe be unto them that are bound with their sins and covered with their iniquities. Like as a field is covered over the bushes, covered over with bushes, and the path thereof covered with thorns, that no man may travel uh, travel through. You know, and that's two-thirds uh, sins, man. All right? To where the point where the Lord is, you know, symbolically, if you image this, you know, it's hard for a man to get through the bushes when it's all entangled. You know? So what the Lord has to do to get through those bushes, he has to start chopping them down. You know, and that's that's basically two thirds uh, wickedness. You know, you you got blood all over you, man. When the Lord looked down upon us, he see nothing but wickedness. You know, you don't have nothing on the side to uh to uh to to to, to balance out. You know, you uh, for the Lord to show mercy to. You know, you got all this wickedness going on, but you ain't got no righteousness. Or you're gonna get put to death, man. 
you know, on this side. Scriptures say they must know it after death by pain. All right, so anyway, it says, um, and the path thereof covered with thorns and that no man traveled through. It is left undressed and is cast into the fire to be consumed therewith. You see? So the most I can't eat, well, not say can't, he's not going to do anything with you, but destroy you in that lake of fire, man, which is yet to come. So let me get back. Uh, this is Romans 13 and 12. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the arm of light. All right, so you should understand that, you know, we're in the time of uh, cleaning up our act. It is high times to wake up out of sleep. It is the times are short, you know. It's time to clean up. It says, let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying, but put ye on the Lord, Yahweh Mashiach, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. So now it's about mortifying your members, you know, not, um, not giving over to your appetite, having discipline, you know, because anything of too anything uh, too much is bad for you. All right. It says, but put ye on the Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, and, they, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. So you got to fight the temptation. You got to fight those thoughts, you know, because why? The time is short. All right. So let me move on this is second address 2 and 13 it says go and ye shall receive receive what Sal salvation go and ye shall receive pray for few days unto you that they may be shortened the kingdom is already prepared for you watch so what are we supposed to be praying for are we supposed to be praying for cars clothes Holes, you know what I'm saying? What, what, are we supposed to be praying for uh, for money? We ain't supposed to be praying for that shit. Now we all need, you know. We may ask the Lord to help us get this job, or we may pray to the Lord to help us get these funds, or you know. But guess what? The main thing we're praying for is salvation. We're praying for forgiveness, repentance, man. And the Lord said to pray for few days. Few days of what? Few days of this God forsaken wicked kingdom, okay, of America. Pray for few days that the Lord destroy Babylon the Great. All right? Make the days short. You know, he did say in Matthew's, uh, he would shorten the days for the elect's sake. Therefore, no flesh will be saved. So the Lord is shortening these days. That's why Esau's kingdom been cut short. All right? He had a short rule. All right. It says, go and ye shall receive. Well, you know, of course, because he was cut short because we're actually living in a re refurbished Roman Empire. All right. Going back into the history, you know, Rome was cut short. Esau went in those caves. We rule Europe. All right. And now we're in that second leg of Rome. You know, the iron mixed with clay going into uh, Daniel's prophecy. Uh, Daniel's interpretation of the dream and the prophecy. All right, so it says, Go and ye shall receive, pray for a few days unto you that they may be shortened. The kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch. So if you call yourself an Israelite and you got this mentality that um, you're going to build here in America and establish yourself for long, for long term, you know, you're looking for a wife, an Israelite wife. You know, you looking for to make children with her. You want to have this ceremony wedding. You in the wrong spirit. You in the wrong spirit. The time is short. It says, go and ye shall receive. Pray for a few days unto you that they may be shortened. The kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch. And that's how you know it's Jake. Because Jake always say, watch. You know, you'll never hear Esau talk like that. You know watch you know like like you tell somebody something like yo i'll be there watch i'll be there i'm telling you i'll be there watch 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 i'm gonna be there that's jake man it says verse 14 take heaven and earth to witness for i have broken the evil in pieces 
and created the good for I live, saith the Lord. All right. Now for my last precept, let's go to um, let's go to Second Peter's chapter three and um verse verse eleven. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what man of person are ye to be? In all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of Yahweh, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. So seeing that we should be looking for and hasting, all right, for the coming of the day of the Lord, not uh, uh, establishing our minds and gearing ourselves you know, to be fitted within this society. The Lord is coming to destroy this society. All right. We're in a time of revelations. We're in a time of prophecies being fulfilled. And the last few prophecies, I should say. So looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of Yahweh. So if you got any other person telling you to look long term, then guess what? They're going off. And that's the wrong spirit. And if you get seduced by that spirit, that's on you. That's on you. You know? That's on you, man. You got general, uh, <laughs> what the apostle called him, uh, general butt naked. Fuck, I forgot. I forgot what the fuck he called. <laughs> what the fuck he called that guy. <laughs> you know, because this guy is a character, man. General Yohanna is saying that he can, um, you know, you, you can um, pop women in their asses, you know, and that's sodomy, man. But but also he's saying that Christianity is the mark of the beast, you know. And he also made mention a couple of years ago that he would take the chip, you know. So that's a person that knows he's an Israelite, that teaches he's an Israelite and others. But he's giving you the wrong spirit in which uh, uh, you should have being in these uh, crucial times, man. These, these bitter times We supposed to be praying and hasting for the Lord Oh he also made mention how he wanted to establish uh, Themselves Next next to uh, Esau's kingdom Like as if you're going to have You're going to allow You're going to force these Edomites to call us Israelites And they're going to be Edomites You know and they're going to have their Society running and we're going to rule On our side That's not happening man You know that's not happening So anyway I don't want to keep talking, but uh, the time is short. You know, time is short. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.